So, uh, one of my radio telemetry rattlesnakes has been hibernating under this house all winter. And every day I come out checking to see if she's come out yet. But uh, she has This could be her. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give her a Oh, wow. I don't think that's her, but it's definitely one of my marked ones. Kale gets a closer look at the rattlesnake to determine which one it is. This is the second male that we found here that's been tagged. I think she's still under the house. I'm going to check here in just a second. Kale searches for other tagged snakes in the house. Another one was killed earlier this week by accident, so time is of the essence. She's right here! There's two! That first one that we were looking at is not her. It's another male that's painted. I can see the transmitter in her right here. This is her. That one that I was looking at is, is another male. Okay. Okay. Get away. Okay, rattlesnake wrangling at its best. I really don't want to lose her. So let's get her in the bag. Boy, she's got, she's got a lot of boyfriends. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was, that was exhilarating. So hey, this is Kale, the venom manager for the Phoenix Herpological Sanctuary, and I'm out here releasing rattlesnakes from our uh, research project that we've been doing. So we are now a year into the project. We've been getting lots of data. Uh, all three of these snakes are snakes that I tagged last year, and they all came from somebody's house. So uh, this data is really helping. Like we're, we're getting to see the snake's movements, and you know, being Earth Day, this is a great time to talk about this because you know, the data, the research shows that, that we can live safely with rattlesnakes. It makes me very happy to know that people are giving it a chance because we are using methods, you know, that aren't lethal. Some states choose to just kill all the rattlesnakes and scientists are showing us that that's affecting the populations, that's affecting the ecosystem. And so we need these snakes and uh, they are a communal species. They like, they clearly like hanging out with each other, the, these western diamondback rattlesnakes. So we got Blossom and then her two boyfriends. And there she is. There you go, sweetheart. Blossom must be a very beautiful rattlesnake because I keep finding big males with her. <laughs> she is, uh, she's very popular. And here's the last male. It's all good down in there. There we go. Another good success story. No rattlesnakes were harmed. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more videos like these.